Alright, folks, Pachinis88, we are back playing Chrono Case on Facebook. Let's head on to the next case. Oh, crazy kill. What? Hey, Ace, your latest discoveries about Sombra's activity in Asia are most alarming. Not only are they abducting orphans, but they could also be brainwashing the children to follow their ideals. We need to figure out how and why. According to Tsukata Chieko, her brother was taken to South Korea. I told Elliot to keep an eye out for her brother and for any suspicious activity. We'll check in with him for updates. We also need to keep an eye out on anything aimed at the kids. Sombra could be abusing media to reach more children. According to Elliot's research, the most influential children's show in South Korea is Oh Crazy Kids. If Sombra is targeting kids, this show could be useful to them. I agree. Ace, get to the studio that produces Oh Crazy Kids and see if there's anything out of the ordinary happening there. So we're right. I was thinking, uh, like, a Korea's Got Talent, but looks like this could be even more devious. Interesting. Alright, where's the body? Right here. Ooh. Cat. Rabbit. I don't see stuff right now. Brain's not functioning. What's going on? Torn poster. Let's see a rabbit. Bloody square chunk. See the cat. I don't see the rabbit. Oh my goodness, it's an outline of a rabbit, that's why. So you're right. Hey, it looks like the injuries already struck the television studio. Ace, we have another murder victim on our hands. Maybe the victim was involved with the show somehow. And you're right, Ace. Given how he's dressed, it's likely that he was doing the grunt work. The victim could be VIP. This, th this stage light pillar looks too heavy to have just fallen over by itself. Someone must have pushed the pillar on top of the victim and tried to make it look like an accident. But we know better, don't we, Ace? You're right, there's blood on that part of the pillar. Think you can get a sample? This torn paper could give us a lead in the case to be pieced together. It's got our thinking caps on, Ace. We have our work cut out for us. We do. And I gotta be able to grab a bunch of stars. I will see you guys back here in a little bit. Some Pachinis88. Au revoir. Alright, folks, Pachinis88, we are back. Playing Cool Case on Facebook. And yes, I guess I pronounced soul correctly. So, um, thank you guys for all of your comments in the uh, preview video. I think that helped a lot. Oh, brother. Silvery is back. Who would have guessed? Only basically everyone. Who's on the poster you pieced together? Silvery? Haven't we seen him before? Oh yeah, he's the K-pop star you and Archer met at Sichuan. The one who wanted to recruit Jack. So it looks as though he was appearing on the show, produced at the crime scene. Maybe he'll know who the victim was. Let's get some air with Silvery and ask him what he knows. Oh, it's early. Do I know you? I know you from comments. Do I know you personally? No, I don't think so. You got a perfect blood sample from that chunk of pillar that was toppled on the victim. Let's get it to Lars. Fair enough, fair enough. What's up, Silvery? Hey, so Silvery, Secret Brace was wondering, do you know the identity of the man who was found murdered on the studio stage? I'm surprised you don't. That's Guac. Kwok Sung Ho. He's the biggest television producer in all of Korea. Wait, he was murdered? But everyone here said it was just an unfortunate accident. Huh, that gives me an idea for a song. Are you just an unfortunate accident waiting to happen in my heart? 
Yeah, I can't sing, guys. I'm sorry. I can't even fake that. Haunting lyrics, Silvery, but if you could just focus for a moment. You knew the victim well? He asked me to promote my new single, Pandemonium, on his show. So, yes, I did know him. Of course, he acted like me being on Oh Crazy Kids would boost my career, but I knew I was the only one doing him a big favor by bringing music to, to his show. Kwak Sung Ho was a really high-strung type, you know? Very difficult. The only time I saw him smile was in the park outside the studio. He went there all the time. Thanks, Silvery. We'll go check out that park. Maybe you can chill here at the studio and write some songs. Your true race may have some additional questions for you. Ooh, crazy kill. So I'm, I'm certain that some of you guys from uh, April Career, even from Eastern Asia, will be able to tell me... Um, or give us kind of a good idea of what this show is supposed to um, represent. Because something tells me is that the show, the name at least, is going to be very similar to another show that they have. Sort of case usually does that. They usually do a really good job of tying in uh, pop culture and stuff. Photograph. Controller. Boom, five seconds. Whoa, whoa. Am I gonna get a star? What? Sweet. Ooh, a new area. Well, looks like the park was held on has held on to a few clues for us. You got a photo of the victim. But who's that hot shot standing next to him? He obviously doesn't have very good manners. In Korea, it's often considered rude to place your arms or hands on the head or shoulders of someone older than you. You think you can find out who a rude boy is by running a comparison in the database? South Korea is full of gadgets, but you're right, Ace. This device is out of place just sitting in a park. Think you can unlock it? That's interesting. I didn't know it was rude. Oh man, I would if, if I ever traveled to another country, I would have to read up on their culture. And like what's good and what's not. Cause I'm I'm big on like side hugs with people, so just like, you know. I would I would not have thought that, that was rude. That was a horrible guess. That was a much better guess. Yep. So what's that device you unlock? Looks like there's a map. So maybe some kind of GPS tracking thing? Wait, why was the device tracking the victim? According to the screen, it belongs to a certain Obasan. You know her? That's right, you told me Obasan was a suspect in Sichuan. She's the Japanese grandma. But what is Obasan doing in South Korea? And why was she tracking Gwak Sung Ho? I guess we can ask Obasan why she's in Korea when we ask her about this device. That's weird. I wouldn't have guessed her. Alright, who's this guy? Ah! Should have gone with the middle one. So that hotshot hanging off the victim in that photo was a certain Pyo Kung Wu. Looks like he just graduated from film school. Let's track him down, Ace. Maybe this Pyo Kung Wu can tell us more about our victim. Please tell me if I'm butchering their names. I'll definitely uh, correct it by chapter three. Chapter two, maybe, but uh, definitely by that next one. Oh, boss, on Senior Trooper Ace found your tracking device. Oh, that silly thing. My son gave it to me because he was sick of me asking where my keys are. Where my brush was, you know? It makes me sad that he would choose to let some machine look after his own mother rather than just help me find my things. Quick kids today. But you use the device to find objects. Why would you be tracking the television producer, Guac Soon Ho? Oh, one of my grandkids rigged the goofy thing to follow celebrities. As if an old granny could even care about such things. If you ask me, kids today are too obsessed with TV and celebrity culture. They should be studying to make something of themselves. They just want to be stars. But my grandchildren begged me to bring them to a live taping of Oh Crazy Kids because Silvery was going to sing. 
And you know, I can't deny them a single thing in the world. Well, boss, be sure that senior troop race won't lose track of you. Pitch ideas. Hey, Pyo Kung Wu. Senior troop race has a few questions to ask you about Wak Sung Ho. I just can't believe he's dead. Korean TV has lost its guiding light. You seem pretty broken up. You, just, you seem pretty close in the photo we found of you. Wok is my hero. The man single-handedly changed Korea TV forever. We wouldn't have half the shows we have today if it wasn't for him. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to be just like him. The man was a genius. Well, Pyo, we'll leave you here alone to grieve. The senior trip race may have more questions for you as the investigation progresses. I will make myself available night and day. Anything I can do to help find this killer. Interesting. Something tells me that you, you're almost too willing. Anyways, we're going to speed up some of this stuff for you guys. Hey, so the blood sample you collect from the pillar came back positive as belonging to the victim. So good call there. But the blood also has traces of fermented cabbage, fish oil, and chili pepper, which are all found in kim kimchi. Korean's national ditch. You found kimchi in the victim's blood? How is that possible? The food wasn't inside the victim. My theory is the killer deposited the kimchi on the light pillar when they pushed on the victim. Well, I doubt the killer can get good kimchi in jail, so they better chow down while they can. Kimchi. Hey, so I finally have a triple free day around here. Jack took them shopping. He's a braver soul than I thought. And as for the victim, the pillar was a red herring. On closer examination, I found a puncture wound between his cervical vertebrae. The placement of the weapon stopped his heart. The pillar was clearly pushed onto the victim to make the whole thing look like an accident. But they couldn't fool you, Ace. So any ideas what was used to puncture the back of the victim's neck? Well, the circumference tells me that it was bigger than a needle. You need to keep your eyes peeled for an ice pick. But you also need to note if any of the suspects plays Huatu. The killer left a Huatu card in the victim's mouth. Huatu? That's a really popular card game in Korea, right? But it's harmless, isn't it? Most people play it with their families on holidays. That's true, but with any card game, the stakes can be raised. Huatu gambling has become a real problem for people in South Korea. Well, Ace, we may not know if the killer left this card in the victim's mouth, but we now know they play Huatu. Interesting. So let's review. Big Shot Korean TV producer was murdered on the set of his own television show. The good old grandma who unwillingly followed the victim's every move. And while the victim's mega fan is devastated, Silvery is more concerned about promoting a single than about murder. And we still have no idea whether any of this is linked to Sombra and how they're brainwashing kids. Hey Ace, I have a lead for you in your case. The victim may be on Angela's slab, but his credit card was just used at a karaoke bar. What? Someone just used the victim's credit card? wrong. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys in chapter 2. It's been Pitching 88. Over and out.